Next at the movies, an animated version of a Sherlock Holmes mystery called The Great Mouse Detective. In The Great Mouse Detective, and although it's an animated feature from Disney, the mouse is not named Mickey, he's named Basil of Baker Street, and he lives a long time before Mickey, back way back in the 19th century in London, in fact, where he's sort of a rodent parallel to Sherlock Holmes. In fact, he lives in a little mouse hole right down at street level underneath uh, Sherlock's house. The movie is a mouse version of the Arthur Conan Doyle stories with Basil on the trail of an evil villain named Professor Radigan. And look at the animation in this scene, which is a big move back in the direction of the great Disney animation of the past. Hello, Toby. <laughs> Silly doggy. <laughs> Would you like a crumpet? <laughs> Yeah, now, Toby, Toby, to the matter at hand. I want you to... <laughs> Good. Now, Toby, Toby, I want you to find this fiend. Yes, you know his type. A villain. A scoundrel. No brow. No set eyes. Broken wing. Oh, he's a peg leg bat with a broken wing. I love the exaggerated movement there. Vincent Price does Radigan's voice, and Radigan makes a classic Disney villain. He enjoys being evil. He has a plan to replace the Queen of England, or the Mouse Queen, with a robot mouse. Crimes were fine for their times, but now that I'm at it again. An even grimmer plot has been simmering in my great criminal brain. Even meaner, you mean it. Worse than the widows and orphans you drown. You're the best of the worst around. I could go on about the story, but what I'd rather do is talk about the quality of the film. Everybody knows that the early Disney feature-length cartoons were animated classics. Very well done. But in the 60s and 70s, as animation got more and more expensive and they cost more and more, they couldn't have those assembly lines of slaves anymore turning out the little drawings, Disney and all the other animators got less and less creative. They had to. Now maybe because computers are available to help out the human beings with the dirty work, the Great Mouse Detective is a return to some of the greatness of the past. And it's a lot of fun as a movie, too, with colorful characters and a great villain and a game of mouse trap roulette that has to be seen to be believed. I was sort of surprised how much I liked this movie. I was surprised, too, because I haven't liked the Disney animated feature in more than a decade. I know you liked The Rescuers back in the 70s. I didn't care for that or The Black Cauldron. I thought a lot of their pictures have lately been dark and dreary, and this was upbeat and bright and intelligent and didn't talk down to kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, this Radigan is evil and really evil and scary, and when the camera goes in on him and you see his teeth, he, gets, he scares you like the classic scared you. That's right. And Basil is smart. He's not cute, hero. He's smart, hero. And so there's someone you can prize for their intelligence. You know, I hate to cite one of your own truisms right back to you, but in okay. this case, how often you've said about all the series movies, like the Superman movies, the Bond I, I movies, the and it would be true of the Sherlock Holmes movies, too, and even the cartoons, the, the, the villain, villain. The better the villain. the villain, the better the movie. And yeah. in this case, because Radigan is a memorable villain, right, right in the in the tradition of the great Disney animated villains, right. it makes the movie just that much better. There's one more important point. There are no films this summer for little kids. None, except this one. So if you have a little kid, take him to it. Now to review the movies on this show. Both Roger and I couldn't stomach Club Paradise, a too crowded script and another bad performance by Robin Williams. We split wildly on Desert Bloom. Roger liked it but he thought it went in too many directions at once. I love the picture. I think the girl story is terrific. It's a great movie. Oscar voters, please remember the name, Annabeth Gish. We were back in agreement, though, by being disappointed with Prince's latest film, The Flimsy Love Story, Under the Cherry Moon. And as we said, we're both surprised that The Great Mouse Detective actually is such an entertaining film for kids, and I guess a couple of 40-year-olds, too. So two thumbs up. And as you said, that's one of the few movies for kids. In fact, kids seem to be... The forgotten people. Forgotten, even in the summertime, which yeah. used to be the season for kids' movies. That's it for this week. Next week at the movies, Sigourney Weaver stars in Aliens, which continues the story of a very unpleasant close encounter of the third kind. 
And Grace Jones is a campy modern-day vampire in a movie called Vamp. So that's next week. Until then, we'll see you at the movies.